Should Charlotte issue ID cards to people who are in the Queen, Queen City illegally? Supporters say it will help thousands of people gain access to city services. Opponents say it violates federal law. WCCB's Audrina Bigas is live in the newsroom with more on this issue. Audrina? Well, this is such a big talker. The mayor of Charlotte has instructed the city's immigration task force to research this idea. Right now, immigrants are being arrested for not having identification. They can't volunteer in their kids' schools. Other cities could be setting the stage for change here in Charlotte. There's undocumented people living and working just like you and I in Charlotte and the surrounding areas. They have been for years and they will continue to do so. It's a reality the Latin American coalition says has to be addressed. The immigration rights group supports a municipal identification card in the city of Charlotte. A half dozen other cities around the country already have similar IDs. Most of them have a name, picture, date of birth and address. To get a city issued ID in Washington, D.C., people have to prove their identity with documents like a birth certificate or passport, prove they have a social security number and prove they live in the city through utility bills or pay stubs. By the city of Charlotte issuing a municipal ID, it does not change someone's immigration status. It does not make them a citizen of the United States. Attorney Benjamin Snyder with Charlotte Immigration Law Firm says the IDs would help CMPD keep communities safe. When you have immigrant residents of the city who fear contacting the police because they're afraid they might end up into deportation proceedings. Because they're afraid of the ramifications um, involved with that. Uh, a police officer asking for ID, a hospital asking for ID. Opponents like Ron Woodard with NC Listen say the cards would aid and abet undocumented immigrants. I wish the mayor were more concerned about unemployed citizens, especially given the African American unemployment rate in Charlotte. I wish he was more concerned about them than helping illegal immigrants stay in the city and keep their jobs. The IDs could also help undocumented immigrants get into their child's school. A Charlotte Mecklenburg Schools spokesperson says the district is not working with the city on this, but it is considering its own initiative. Staff will meet with community members like Action NC tomorrow. Live in the newsroom, Madrina Vegas, WCCB News.